our last final guest for the day. And this guest comes from the Seven Chinese Brothers. You are one of these Chinese brothers. You are one of them because you all look very similar, don't you? Your special feature is what? She can see a long way, not just a long way, you can see exceptionally far. Tell us your story, second Chinese brother. Actually, I am feeling really proud about my eyesight. I mean, seriously, I can see a fly um, sitting on the Great Wall of China 100 miles away. I can be famous someday about my extraordinary eyesight, but we are kind of poor, but who knows? I might be. Anyways, I am walking with my brother, the first brother, who has amazing eyes. But to be honest, I think I am more useful than to say. We both stopped and I saw a gigantic hole in the Great Wall of China. I shouted out, I shouted out, I yeah. For some reason, I do not think my brother, I do think my brothers are annoyed that I always shout out, I yeah. Good. My eyes suddenly caught these poor men working so hard every day, not allowed to eat or sleep until the oh. hole is repaired. I told my brothers this. Brothers, poor men are working hard and they can't sleep or eat until the hole is repaired. I yeah, I cried out. My seventh brother. I felt disappointed. It feels like he copied me. Aya is what I say. I feel like telling him, but he, he has sensitive feelings. <laughs> Suddenly, my seventh brother was about to cry. Don't cry, said my third brother. He, I was relieved that he caught my seventh brother before he would cry. I'll help them, said, said my third brother. He hurried to the Great Wall of China without saying anything to us. And I said in my mind, he is working. He's a hard working man too, I guess. Then the sky turned dark blue, the third brother came back to sleep. You had a very important job in this program. And I know there were a lot of feelings in there, but I think I think you have a very special power to this brother. Thank you to all of our special guests on the Miss Gabbert show today. I very much enjoyed having you as my guests. Let's get ready for lunch and recess. <laughs>